Hello, I'm Dr. Leong, a consultant chess physician. This is an extract of a video recording from a virtual workshop titled The Management of Cough and Excessive Phlegm. This video will briefly define autogenic drainage of the airways and how to perform it. Thank you. Autogenic drainage, all right? This is another technique to bring phlegm out. Okay, now we shall go through these breathing cycles, all right? Uh, okay, now you follow this chart if you can. Now, okay, during quiet breathing, during quiet breathing, okay, shall we try quiet breathing? Just breathe slowly in, slowly out, all right? Huh? Try breathing in, slowly, breathe out gently. All right, normal breathing, quiet breathing. All right, for a 70 kilo size man or woman, you will be having a tidal volume of 500 mils. All right, this is your tidal volume. All right, all right. So quiet breathing again, try again. So you are, at tidal volume, all right? Now, expel your air completely. You reach residual volume. There's still air in your lungs, all right? So when you're breathing quietly and then you expel all the air. That will be your expiratory reserve volume. You have just expelled your expiratory reserve volume, which is 1.5 liters, 1,500 mils. And there will still be some air, residual volume in your lungs, all right? You cannot expel completely. Okay, now we try again. Eh? So we breathe quietly now. Let go all the air. Now take a very deep breath. As you take a very deep breath, you go up right up to the top. Your lungs are fully filled. You are in inspiratory reserve volume. All right, inspiratory reserve volume. Okay, you try again. Quiet breathing now. Slowly breathe in and out. Okay, completely expel all the air. Now take very deep breath until you cannot breathe in anymore. Okay, you would have reached your inspiratory reserve volume, all right? Now go back to tidal volume, quiet breathing now. All right, now we are going to show you autogenic drainage now. Now autogenic drainage has three phases, one, two, and three, all right? Now, first phase, breathing at low lung volumes, all right? Expiratory reserve volume, tidal volume. Mid lung volumes, tidal volume mainly around there, a bit up, maybe down. And then high lung volumes, all right? Like, you have, like when you have taken the full breath in. Now, what happens when you do these three phases? If phlegm or sputum in the lower parts of the airway will be mobilized, all right? The whole idea is to mobilize the phlegm or sputum in the lower parts of the airways upwards so that you can cough it out. All right, so shall we try? Shall we try, okay? So quiet breathing now, quiet breathing, quiet breathing. Breathe out completely. Take a deep breath. Breathe out completely. Now breathe shallowly. Shallow, very shallow breathing. Less than your tidal volume. Do that for five times. All right. Now go to mid volumes, like your tidal volume now. Tidal volume. Bring your quiet breathing a little bit up or down. Five times. And then now breathe deeply. 
Breathe deeply. Okay, so if you have excessive flame or sputum, then this will be moving. So you have to repeat these cycles several times, all right, to move the air higher and higher and higher. You do it when you are feeling comfortable. Of course, if you are feeling tired or feeling exhausted, you will stop, all right, stop. So once you got the feeling of this flame reaching your throat level or higher up airways, you try to do a control cough and cough up the flame, all right? So this is all about autogenic drainage. 